Gary Tuesday, everybody. It's another new week, and for this week, we're gonna talk about the term that I constantly see in social media, toxic positivity, or counterproductive feedback. There are examples that I'm gonna share with you which falls into the category of non-constructive or counterproductive feedback or toxic positivity or alternative words that we could use to ensure that we're sending the right message across to the person that we're coaching or the person that we're comforting. For example, instead of saying, don't worry, you'll get over it, what you could say, I know it's hard, but I believe in you. Acknowledging the feeling of the person you're talking to rather than sweeping that feeling under the rug is something that is more productive and could be helpful for the person. The second thing that we normally say would be, don't be so negative. Look at the bright side. Put on a smiling face. We would say, it's okay not to be okay. There will be bad days. And that's how it is. That is life. Life is not all about rainbows and butterflies. Life is about rolling with the punches. Another thing that we normally say that just look at the bright side of life. You have to be thankful that it's not you who got sick. It may be difficult to get a sense of what's happening right now. But trust that things will get better. Another thing that we normally hear would be, failure is not an option. Rather, we would say, failure is part of growth. Everybody starts from somewhere. So in the beginning, not all of us would be the best in what we're doing. That is part of the process. So again, rather than saying that failure is not an option, failure is part of growth. This is the tagline that I normally use for myself. And I think this also helped me a lot when I'm going through some rough times in my life. Think happy thoughts. That's why I'm a fan of Peter Pan. But then I realize it's not applicable for everybody. It may be tailored fit for me, but it's not what other people would like to hear. So rather than saying, think happy thoughts, an alternative, things can be really tough, but I'm here for you. Assuring the person that you're there, even as a sounding board, even if you're not giving any advices or opinion, would matter a lot. Telling the person that you're praying for them or that you're supporting them in the process that they're going through is something that is very relevant and helpful for the person receiving that. So hopefully you got something out of it. If you also have other toxic positivity or non-constructive feedback that you've been hearing or using, please don't forget to share it on the comment section below so that we could learn from each other and hopefully find alternative words that we could use to really be that supportive, helpful, available friend that we are. So thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, have a blessed week and gratitude.